Come on, hurry up! Looking for my Pentecost jumper. Don't worry about it. He's not playing today. Oh. You're an idiot. Get stuffed. Do you reckon this game will be good today? Of course! The one best teams in the AFL is playing! St Kilda? Yeah, the Maggies! Is this St Kilda is good? Oh, as if they isn't! But do you reckon... Do you reckon there will be any fights today? Of course, mate. Plugger is playing. Plugger! 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 There are always fights when the teams play. I wonder why. Mm. Maybe because they don't like each other. Maybe. Them impressionisms that you do, them funny voices. I love it when you do that. They're good, I reckon. What, what impressionisms? The ones, the ones from the footy commercial on the TV. Go do uh, Avengers Hollywood. Avengers Hollywood? <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, ready, ready. <laughs> These guys <laughs> hit each other <laughs> with their whole bodies <laughs> and get away with it. <laughs> I would like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> that is gross, I reckon, mate. Oh, I think you do another one. Do uh, John McEnroe. John McEnroe. Yeah. Right. You ready? You ready? <laughs> These guys <laughs> spit the dummy <laughs> at the umpires and get away with it? Oh, we want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious, mate. You are a very funny guy, you know. I wish I was funny like you. You are funny. Really? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Well, I don't like driving for Waverley AFL Park. No, nah, me neither. But you don't even have a license. Oh, I know, but if I did, I wouldn't mind driving to it, I reckon. Why? Oh, because it's too cold. I prefer to drive to the Brisbane Gabba. The Brisbane Gabba? Yeah. But that's in Queensland, you idiot. That's too far away, plus you get stung by jellyfishes. Jellyfishes? They don't play on the beach up there, you know, you idiot. Yeah, but if someone kicked the ball a long way, right, and you had to get it, you could end up there. That would be good, I reckon. I think you could go for a swim. Thank you very much. Now before a crowd of 75,000 here at the MCG, let's cross now to the kids. Shane Ellie, what do you got for us, Shane? Yes, Rex, I have an important announcement to make. For those people still in their cars trying to get into the southern and western car parks, don't bother, they are all full. Thank you very much. Well, that really gets my goat up, that does, you know. We had about as much rain last night as there is here on my cranium, and we can't get more than four cars into the car park. Yeah, what magnificent curation that is. Oh, I, of course, won't have too much trouble getting out of the car park in my magnificent four-wheel drive Nissan. But... Oh, thank you very much. So anyway, look, it's time now to go around the grounds. First up, over to the wanker. I mean the wacker. Over to the uh, effervescent Dennis Committee for his preview on the big game between the Eagles and the Hawks. Centimetre perfect kick there to Matera, who runs to 45 and goes. That moves the Eagles on now to seven goals straight 42, five to Matera, and the Hawks yet to score. Yeah, and it gives a staff. OK, let's keep it rolling. Let's cross to the SCG in the city of colour and dance and strange romance. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Thank you very much. For the game between the Swans and the Bears, we're joined by our special guest commentator for the day in Daryl Eastlake. How you going, Daryl? How's the crowd looking? Has anyone turned up? Well, they all had to have a sail on their yachts. Yes, thanks very much, Rex. Here we are, the SCG with a big crowd. And this sensational clash between the two heavyweights of the VFL. Today, fell, what a magnificent crowd we've got here for today's game. How many have you got there, Daryl? What's your estimate? Oh, this is sensational. Bigger than Texas here at the SCG. How many are there, Daryl? Oh, this is magnificent. This is what footy's all about. The Sydney Football Club are laying on the pre-match entertainment here. Oh, what's this? Oh, sensational! It's Derby on his Harley! Doing a few parade laps before the big game! Oh-ho! Oh, there's even some cute blonde Sheila coming down the players' race. Oh, she's even wearing club colours and footy boots. Oh, it's Kappa! Warren Kappa! Making a comeback here on the SCG. This is sensational. I don't believe it. Oh, the Swans marketing machine working overtime here. Oh, who's that twirl of footy down there in the square? Oh, I don't believe it. It's the energizer. Check out. Oh, sensational. 
You idiot. Money to get carried away. That game hasn't even started yet. Time now to take a break. This is 3W Football. Another great pub story from Billy's Draft. Well, I was out at Arctic Park, you see, and I busted for a piss. So I wandered into the men's room and flopped the old fella out and commenced pissing, you see. Next thing, this bunkle walters up and starts pissing next to me. Next thing you know, there's bits of piss flying everywhere and I'm wiping it off my face, so I says to him, Excuse me, mate, do you mind pointing that thing somewhere else? He says, I'd love to, mate, but it's not mine, it's the blokes next to me. Billy's Draft, the great pub beer. Yeah, whatever you reckon, mate, you idiot. Yeah, well, if I caught a fish in a head like yours, I would never give it the proverbial kiss before putting it back in the water. Yeah, you idiot. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's go down to Cadinia Park where slamming Sam Newman has got the game between the Cats and the Tigers. What do you reckon the Tigers' chances are, Sam? None. The Cats, through their tenacity, through their ferociousness, through their pace, through their endeavour, would absolutely pole the Tigers today. You fucking idiot. Thanks for that professional unbiased opinion, Sam. Ah, uh, Rex, if I could just have a second. Yeah, what is it, Shane? I've just had word from the St Kilda rooms that number four, Tony Lockett, will not, I repeat, will not be taking the field for the Saints. Ah, fuck, plugger. I, along with 80,000 other people, come along to see the great man play today. And it'd be a tragedy if he didn't take the field. They're coming on the ground now, Rex. Out they come now, the St Kilda side, led by their captain. And don't they look a picture? There he is, a big fella, Stuart Lowe. Robert Harvey, Nathan Burke, David Grant. The magnificent Nicky Winmar. On any Saturday, I tune my radio a certain way. I set the dial on 3AW to hear the legend give his point of view. So come on, Rexy, give us a clue. So come on, Rexy, 3AW. So won't you tell us who will it be? Who's gonna be the premiers of the mighty MCG? Will Apple turn your call into a yell? Apple! Will Dunst still kick the winner on the bell? No. Will Mod relieve you speechless yet again? Unbelievable. Will Plugger bring the house down once again? Lucky! I love the way you talk amongst your crew. The kid takes some good old Sammy too. Your choice of words brings laughter to us all. Ah, give it give it up. Magnificent, that is all. So come on, Rexy, give us a clue. So come on, Rexy, free a double So won't you tell us who will it be? Who's gonna be the premiers? Who's gonna be the premiers? Who's gonna be the premiers of the mind? Well, folks, you may have guessed it, but that sound we heard before the break was, in fact, the bearded burbler Rex Hunt blowing out the glass here at the box at the MCG, and we are now exposed to the elements. Well, I couldn't give a fuck, Shane, because right now the St. Killer Cider at full strength with the big man, Tony Lockett, on the ground. The big man, the piding machine, the man who goes through pies like Sam Newman, goes through wives. And I can tell you what, folks, 
this game is going to be an absolute rip snorter. Yes, Rex, I'm sure it will be. But right now, I guess what we've got to do is try and get this glass replaced. If there is, in fact, a glazier in the house, please, please, we are in desperate, desperate need here. We are exposed. Could you please make your way up to the box here, knock on the door, and please, please, please bring a broom. Yes, and you can hear that roar. There's no doubt who that's for. It's a Collingwood side now making their way to the players' race. And they look a fit side, led by their captain, Gavin Brown. And they look a treat, don't they, Rex? They certainly do, Shane. And look at that, the mighty Mick McGuan's out there for Collingwood. And the big Savaloy rocker. Let's cross now up to Sydney to see there's a start in play. And how's it going up there, Daryl? Oh, I don't believe it! To the Turner! Sensational! Bit of song and dance here at the SCG! Yes, and thank you very much, Daryl. And right now here at the MCG, we're very close to the start of play. The umpire coming out to the centre of the field now with that beautiful bicentennial 50 cent piece. How the fuck can he tell it's a 50 cent piece? And he's about to toss it. Danny Frawley, Gavin Brown, the two captains in the centre. The coin goes up in the air, spinning sunshiny off it, and it's hit the turf. And Danny Frawley points to the putt road in, and that puts St Kilda with the breeze in the first quarter. And what do you think of that, Rex? Yes, thanks, Shane. And quickly down on the ground for his report of the turf. Ex Brownlow medalist and Hawkstar Robert Dippio Domenico. How's it looking, mate? Yeah, thanks, Rex. But Danny, it's been a little bit of Thanks, Dipper. And with us in the box today, our very own former Magpie star and goal sneak extraordinaire, Peter Dacos. Dakes, does this sort of atmosphere give you a witchy feet to play again? Uh, not, you know... Thanks, so Dakes, and a quick look at the stats. Bondi, how many times have these two sides met? Yes, 104. Thanks, Bondi, and finally a quick score from the Wacker okay. Dennis. Playing with the test. ball, the big bonk hurts. Contest with VHS Video Vic, the pill hits a turf. In comes Nathan Burke, second balloting himself to the bottom of the pack. He comes out with the ball, spears a hand pass to Winbar, who has time to take a bounce, runs to 50. Oh, shit, oh, nasty stuff, that Rex. Winmar down and doesn't look well. Of course he doesn't look well, and neither would you if you caught a Craig Kelly elbow to the scone. Oh, and what are you implying, Rex? Oh, look, I'm not implying anything. I'm just saying that Craig Kelly, that's Craig Kelly, number 23 for Collingwood, Craig Kelly, may be paying a visit to the Office of Video Corrections on Monday night and deserves at least six weeks. Oh, there's bodies flying everywhere here in the centre of the ground. It's on for young and old. Stay there, mate. No, no, oh, plugger. Plugger. Oh, Tony Lockett has joined them there. Oh, this is ugly. This is now TV ringside with the MCG. Very ugly indeed. And have a look at this little David and Goliath. Little Tony Francis shaping up to plugger, and this could get ugly. Oh, plugger. Oh, he's picked up little Tony Francis. He's holding him above his head. Oh, like a prize 10 pound snapper in the bay. Oh, this is a terrible sight. Big plugger now spinning little Francis around on the spot. Yeah, spinning, spinning, spinning like a blade of a helicopter. Little Francis in big trouble as plugger lets loose. Francis goes sailing through the big sticks. Yes, and Tony Francis over the heads of the spectators. Oh, and he's over the top of the solid stand. And uh, yibbida yibbida for Tony Francis. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so that's quite an incredible display of strength here by the big man Tony Lockett hurling Tony Francis right out of the arena here at the MCG. Nicky Winmar now picking himself up off the ground from 50, 55 metres out with a free kick. And I believe he will shoot for goal. And on the mark is for Collingwood, Kent Butcher. Yes, Nicky Winmar now will go out there to 55 metres out. He pulls up his socks and ties up his boots after receiving that big, big whack on the scone from Craig Kelly. Number 23 for the Caring Bush. And I don't mean to dob anyone in, but uh, thank you very much. We'll be seeing you Monday night, Craig, and we'll see just how you go, because there's no mistake in my mind that that was your fist that went through Nicky Winmar's face. And he comes down, Nicky Winmar, from 55 metres out. He lines it up. I don't believe this. The man on the mark, Kent Butch, has dropped his tax right in front of Nicky Winmar and the whole southern stand. And Jonas is chopping block the cleaver in a couple of meat balls. Uh, Huge balls, Rex. Oh, I don't believe this. I haven't seen balls like that since I last went 10 pin bowling. Oh, he's well hung to him, Unbelievable stuff, and he's given him 50, and rightly so. Yep. Put him away, son. We don't want to see that here. Absolutely. Well, I can't believe that here on the Hallow Turf at the MCG, 
here's this bloke on the mark who suddenly uh, just, you know, gone uh, yibbity yibbity down with a dax and out with the family jewels. I mean, this is the MCG, son. It's not Bar 20 or wherever it is that Sam Newman likes to hang out on a Saturday night. Oh, I can't believe this. What's going wrong with our game? That a bloke on the mark feels the need to show us his cock just like that, eh? Yes, and what a huge cock it was too, Rex. And Nicky Winmar now coming in, about to take his kick. And here comes Nicky Winmar. He goes bang. Goal. Yes, they kill the one goal six now. Colin would get the score. We'll go to a break. This is straight up your big balls. From uh, I mean, Blues draft. So, you know, he's he coming to his city. Yeah, yeah, come on, you smart ass, you know, so, yeah, he's <laughs> smacking on the <laughs> See, yeah, well, come on, you little smart, you know, he's going to like, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> he's going to so, he's fucking straight out, man. Billy's Draft, the great pub beer. Hey, what? What's the Melbourne Reserves doing playing here? Oh my God! What? What did we do wrong ground? The wrong ground? You idiot! What do you mean? I told you it was a game, CG. Are you going to believe me? But you drove! What's your passenger? What do you mean, old passenger? Your passenger also do when I was just trying to get you in the truck and you with it. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What you have nothing to say, do you? All right, I will turn the radio on then. Best of luck. Quan's got it there on the member side wing. He takes a bounce in. He comes a mighty Mick McQuan. Takes another bounce. It's a Phil Manasa like runners. He kicks. He's in looking for there in Buckley. Here comes Buckley. Here comes Buckley. Bounce, bounce, bounce. He kicks a long skewy if we're burning. Junior Giraffe kicked a rock up by baby on the treetops. When the wind blows the crater, we're rocking. Goal. Quarter time. Collingwood within five points. St Kilda. Three goals, 6-24. Collingwood, three goals, a one, a 19. Over to you, Shane Healy, the kid. Yes, quarter time here, Rex. And as you say, St. Killer ahead. Let's have a look around the grounds. Let's see how the other games are progressing. Yes, let's cross over and out of the wacker. Dennis Cometti, what's your quarter time scores? Quarter time here at the wacker. Eagles way ahead on 14 goals, 38, 122 to Hawthorne, yet to score. 13 goals to Matera and 37 points straight to Simic and one out of bounds on the four. So he's obviously got his kick and beat on again as he simmits. Okay, let's go up to the SCG. Have you got a start there yet, Daryl? Oh, sensational. They got the Ferris wheel out in the middle of the ground now. And they're bringing out the Dodgem cars. Oh, fantastic stuff here. You idiot. Look, how long do I have to listen to this fucking shit from Sydney for? This place got no idea on the game. He's trying to call it. And nothing's going on up there. Ah, uh, look, well, let's take a break. This is 3W football. Oh my god, it's packed! Yeah, I hope we get in. Do you reckon we're in the rod line? All those people at gate 4, the southern stand, please progress to gate 5. Gate 4 is now closed. Come on, we better go to gate 5 quick. All those people at gate 5 of the southern stand, please progress to gate 6. Gate 5 is now closed. Come on, we better get to gate 6, come on. Oh. All those people at gate six of the sudden stand, please progress to gate seven. Gate six is now closed. Come on! Quick! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Let's go soon! Let's go soon! Quick, 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 quick. The southern stand is now full. Oh, shit! My oh, God! What are we going to do now? We can't get in! We're never going to get in to see this game! Don't worry! We will still get into the gun! Sick, 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 sick! Let's go! 
Have you ever tried getting to the members before? No. Okay. I haven't tried either, but I will get us in, I promise. Just follow my lead. Okay? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Medallions, gentlemen. Two, please. <laughs> um, um, uh, my dad is a member, and he said if we both come here that you would let us in. No worries, guys. Straight through. Oh, God. <gasps> That was a great thing from you, mate. I reckon. Got the members. We got him. Hey, I reckon. Do you reckon he was scared of us? I think he was, mate. He probably thought we were going to punch him up, yeah, mate. Dude, the members are going to go by itself. We are in. We are in. We are in. We are in. Members. Members. Shh, 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 shh. As Scotty Russell has the ball now, he bounces a pill, blasts a handful to Kosiska, who dances on the spot. A bit of samba, a bit of tango, fires return to send it back to Russell, who takes a periscopial view down the ground to way up the options and goes bang with, with the, the worm, worm burning, burning junior, junior giraffe, half five, five to every other seven. Fuck off, Shane, it's my script. To Rocker, who drops a pill, it hits a deck. It's cleared by Frawley. Right, I kid your turn and don't use any of my sayings, you yep. idiot. OK, sorry about that, Rex. OK, Frawley now has the ball. He kicks long, looking there in turn. It's in a half back for Morris, who marks the ball now. Takes a couple seconds, looks around, gets around his opponent. Kicks long out in the wing there, looking for Nathan Burke. Nathan Burke now with Gavin Brown on his hammer. Heads out towards the boundary line, taps it forward in front of him, and it's out of bounds. And I believe, Rex, we're actually trying something new here today. Yep. What is it? That's right, Shane. Look, what we've done for 3RW listeners is we've mic'd up the bounty umpire there in umpire Shane. And let's cross to him now as he runs to get that ball and ask him how he's going. How's it going there, umpire Shane? <laughs> yeah, well, obviously not the best time to cut to him. We'll uh, go to him uh, later on. Uh, what a stupid idea that was, Rex. What? I can't believe that. No. Uh, just hang on a second, uh, Shane. I haven't seen you come up with any look, brainwave ideas yourself. Look, look, Rex, all I'm saying is that was a what? pretty bloody stupid idea. Shut You'd up, have to be Shane. a fool not to admit it yourself. Yeah. Now stick it up your ass, Shane. Meanwhile, Morris clears for St Kilda. He kicks a shocker. It singes a turf. It's picked up by Bradley Rowe. Here comes Rowe. Here comes Rowe. He takes a bounce in the square. Kicks looking for Rocker. The pack forms. Rocker over the top. Grant on top of him. Lucas on oh. top of him. Yep. the turf. May I add, Rex, that Winmar does Jesus. not look well at all. Well, neither would you, Shane, if you climbed to the top of the Empire State Building and jumped off. And that's just about how high he was. He was right up there where seagulls don't dare to go. And if you're planning on taking a trip again, Nicky, make sure you take some oxygen. He's not moving, Rex. Like Superman without a coat, he went to whoosh up into the air, took a bite of the pill and came crashing down. Uh, he's still not moving, Rex. I yeah, like the proverbial, you know what, when your missus says come to bed, honey, I ain't got a headache tonight. It went up and up and up. Bad up and thank you very much. Yeah, we get the message, Rex, you fuck knuckle. Okay, that's half time. There goes the siren. Nicky Winmar being carried off the ground on the stretch. We'll check his condition with Dipper after the break. Another great pub story from Billy's Draft. Yeah, I've got these, you know, the top there. I see, my, you know, don't. So he would go on, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, big fella, you going to go? I was like, yeah, all right. He's so cozy. Billy's draft. Yes, and welcome back, guys. And half time here oh, has St. Yeah. Kilda. Six goals, 642 to the Maggie's. Six goals, 339. And it's time now to go down to the boundary line where we have Robert Dippio Domenico to report on the condition of Nicky Winmar and also the whereabouts of one Tony Francis. Hey, thanks, Shane. Uh, Nicky Winmar, not well here. We've got a report from the trainers that he's broken every bone in his body as a result of that spectacular mark we saw earlier. And so we can expect to uh, see him on the ground sometime in the third quarter. Yes, yeah, so what about Tony Francis, Dipper? Any, uh, any word on his condition? Yeah, well, unfortunately for Collingwood fans, Shane, no sign of Tony Francis. We've had a few people outside the ground, you know, trying to locate him, but no luck yet. 
and uh, we're just about to get in contact with a tower up at Talamuin Airport. Then and uh, see if they found him on the radar. Yes, well, thanks, Dibba. We'll check back with you later on. Right now, it's time to reflect, I guess, on this amazing game here today, up until half-time. And, Rex, we've seen some great goals, Finance. some spectacular marks, and even the odd scuffle. But I guess, all in all, Finance. to be expected from these two sides in front of such a big crowd. Now, oh, look, absolutely, Shane. It's been a great game thus far, Finance. and a real traditional game in a true sense of the word. It takes me right back to some of the hard-fought tussles of the late 60s and early 70s, Finance. the likes of Dittrich and Cow and Cheezer. I tell you what, Shane, this has been one of the Finance. best games I've seen all year. Finance. Yep. And speaking of tradition, Rex, I, I guess you can't get more traditional Finance. than a St Kilda versus Collingwood game here on this ground. Finance. And you also can't get more traditional than the Peanut Man. Look, his presence has been felt around the grounds for years and years now, Finance. and I'm sure I'm not just speaking for myself when I say I remember him since when I was Finance. a kid. Uh, absolutely, Shane. Look, the Peanut Man's just outside the box Finance. here. Could someone let him in? I wouldn't mind having a chat with him. Yeah, Bonnie, just open the door there. That's it, mate. Uh, come in, peanut man. Take a seat. Now, listen, mate, you've become a bit of an institution of this game. I remember way back when I had my first Jarvis Walker going to see St Kilda train at the Junction Oval. And even then, I'd see you walking around with that sack of yours selling your peanuts. Just how long have you been selling your nuts? Peanuts. Yeah, uh, that's right. So how long's it been? Peanuts. Not long, you reckon, eh? Peanuts. <laughs> yeah, well, we've kind of established that's what you're selling, Einstein, if you know what I mean. Peanuts. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you very much. Look, will someone hand this bloke a cashier so we can expand his vocabulary? I think that just about sums it up, Rex. Yeah, uh, well, thanks for joining us. Look, before you go, peanut man, just tell us quickly how much you think Shane Healy deserves to be paid. Cashiers. <laughs> yeah, uh, look, thank you very much. Uh, fuck off, peanut man, will you? Oh, come on, Rick, that's not very nice. And what do you mean that's not very nice? Like, get the bloke up here for a bloody in-depth interview. He's all he can say is fucking peanuts, peanuts. Oh, well, just goes to show what another stupid idea of yours it was, Rex. Oh, well, you can stick it up your ass, Shane. Let's go around the grounds now. Let's go down to Cadinia Park to slamming Sam Newman for his score on the Cats versus the Tigers. Are there, Sam? Oh, I don't believe this shit. I don't have to put up with that. Let's cross over to the Wacker, shall we? Let's get a score off Dennis Cometti. Unbelievable scenes here, Rex. A fight just broken out at half time. Centimeter perfect jab by Wilson to the upper jaw of Ben Allen. He goes down. Coming over the top, winding up with a precise uppercut to the right half forward facial line of Hudson is worst fold. It spills out into the wing area now as Matera with a free kick to the groin region of Platten. In now comes Langdon. Dummies a right cross, comes in with a centimetre perfect left hook to the midsection of Jarman, who like a cork in the ocean, bobs and weaves and finally hits the ground. With a score here still, Eagles 14 goals, 38, 122 to the Hawks yet to score. Sounds exciting. Let's go up to Sydney. Have you got a start up there? <laughs> oh, fantastic stuff here. We're a bit of a party going now. We've got the fireworks going. The party pies and streamers and the hats. Oh, this is what footy's all about. Sensational. <laughs> all right. We'll take a break. This is 3AW Carnival. Another great pub story. From Billy's Draft. <laughs> Billy's Draft. The great pub beer. With the owner of car registration number ZZK111, please return to your vehicle. The engine is running. Oh, my God! What? I think that was my car. Oh, don't worry about it. You're running a petrol. You reckon? Yeah. Ready for start of play here in the third quarter. A close one, and let's see how it pans out. Take it away, Rex a million. Uh, what the fuck? 
fuck are you talking about, Rex a million? Where'd you get that from? Ah, uh, just a slip of the tongue, Rex, you rich fuck. Ah, oh, now just hang on a second, Shane. I may be worth a million bucks, and so what if I am? I'll still catch my own fish, rip their heads off with my own hands, and do my own shopping at the market, and drive my magnificent four-wheel drive patrol. Thank you very much. You won't see me driving no red Ferrari or eating caviar. <laughs> well, Rex, let me inform you that caviar is in fact fish eggs. Well, I might eat it then. Is that what if I do want to tell ya? Oh, settle down, Rex. Play about to get underway here. Yes, and what a quarter we're in for as the umpire approaches the naval of the Presidium about to bounce the ball with the scores 42 to 39. The Premiership quarter getting underway. The one to separate the men from the boys for his opinion on how this game will pan out. Former Collingwood great Peter Dakos, who will it be, Dakes? Uh... Yeah, uh, from, you know, well, I... Uh, thanks, Dave, for a report on how the turf's holding up from a Brownlow medalist and Hawks Day, Robert Dippy, out a minute ago. How's it looking, Dipper? Yeah, thanks, Rex. Uh, do the, uh... Thanks, Dipper, for a summary of the marks. Kicks, freeze, tackles, tap outs and handballs up to half-time, Bondi. Well, Thanks, Rick. Bondi. The umpire goes bang with the ball. The big monkey goes stumping, sends it to the edge of the square. Shaw comes in for Collingwood like a ferret in a bar. He sniffs around and comes out with the pill. He spears an arrow like hand pass to the mighty Mick McGuan, who kicks short the plane. Bradley playing the former bomber, looks up forward, now the lead coming from Houlihan! Oh, Plain should have passed that to Houlihan, he's hanging onto the ball, don't know why, no time to waste. Rocker off is the lead now, he ignores that one as well. Oh, well he should have passed that one, Rocker was all on his own in the square, and Bradley Plain's ignored all of it. I think he's going to have a shot, Rex. Well, uh, who's this bloke think he is? I mean, he's marked the ball and fair enough, but he's about 75 metres out from goal. you got to be kidding, Plain! And here comes Bradley Plain, 75 metres out from goal, and I'd say, fuck all chance, Rex. I reckon fuck all chance as well. What about you, Dakes? Uh, oh, yeah. Hurry up, Dakes. Uh, f- fuck all chance. What about you, Bundy? Yeah, fuck all chance, Rex. Depper? Uh, fuck all chance, Rex. Well, in he comes now, Bradley Plain from 75 metres out. He's kicked the guard out of bounds on the fall, you idiot! Who the fuck do you think you are trying to kick it from 75 metres out? Yep, should have listened to us, Rex. That ball goes out of bounds on the Billy's mowing service wing. To take the kick for the Saints, it's David Grant who goes towards centre wing. It's marked by Craig Kelly. Craig Kelly now with the ball. He thumps it into attack for Collingwood. Oh, good mark there by Watson. Watson now 50 metres out. He kicks long. He's looking in there for Rock. I'll tell you what, Shepard a throw for a goal. And the Billy's Mowing Service scoreboard now. Collingwood ahead on 7 goals, 3.45. St Kilda, 6-6-42. Yep, a good opportunity to cross down our boundary umpire and umpire Shearn to see whether he had a good view of that decision, umpire Shearn. <laughs> I can't believe you try that again, Rich. I get stuffed, Shane. Back to the centre of the ground now, Collingwood hit the front after a goal in the first two minutes. The umpire goes bang with the ball, Fidovic gets a tap out to Harvey, Robert Harvey with the ball now, he's tackled strongly by Johnny Hassel. Collingwood with the ball now, the kick by Hassel to the centre of the ground where it's marked by Paul Williams. Williams kicks in, turn to Buckley, Buckley takes a bounce, runs to 50, he'll kick this, Buckley! Goal! Another goal to the Maggies on the Billy's mowing service scoreboard. They move on now to eight goals, 3.51 to the Saints, six goals, 6.42. Let's cross now to Dipper to see if he's had any luck in finding Tony Francis. Yeah, thanks, Shane. Over the Blue Mountains here, and there's no sign of Tony Francis anywhere. We've got the heat seeking radar on, and we're hoping that'll help things. Had a report from the tower that they spotted a small flying object with black and white stripes moving in a northerly direction, so we'll keep searching. Thanks, Dipper. We'll speak to you later on. Dipper there in the Billy's Mowing Service helicopter. Back to the centre of the ground. Now the umpire goes bang with the ball. The big monkey goes up. <laughs> Gets a tap out again. The pill, it's a turf gathered in by Fraser. He's tackled strongly by Burke. The ball on the loose. It's picked up by Buckley. Sells a dummy to Grant. Takes a bounce. He'll have to hurry. Yep, he does. Buckley now on the half forward flank here. Just in front of the Billy's Mowing Service sign on the Billy's Mowing Service wing. He kicks. It's a nice looking kick. I'll tell you what, that's a goal. Sails through the Bills mowing service goal post for full points. The score now, Collingwood, nine goals, three, 57 to the Saints, six goals, 642 on the Bills mowing service scoreboard. 
And I'll tell you what, the Saints in a little bit of trouble here, Rex. You're right, Shane. The Saints in need of a couple of goals now. Ah, uh, what's this? Some dickhead flying his tiger moth over the MCG. And there's no need for that, thank you very much. I mean, who's this bloke thinking it's? Tom Cruise in that, uh, that film, what was it? Rain Man. I think that's Billy from uh, Billy's Mowing Service taking his routine Saturday afternoon flight, Rex. Uh, Shane, just what the fuck is going on here? Who's this fucking Billy and his fucking mowing service? Well, Rex, he's just a guy from around the corner who uh, does my lawns. Well, don't go plugging his business on this show, Shane. We've got good paying sponsors here, thank you very much. Oh, Rex, I think you'd be more than happy to offer a little discount on your next mowing job. The umpire goes bang with the Billy's Mowing Service ball. It hits the Billy's Mowing Service turf, spills out into the Billy's Mowing Service wing and goes out of bounds into the Billy's Mowing Service side on the Billy's Mowing Service. Three quarter time here at the MCG. Collingwood in a commanding position. 11 goals, 672 to the Saints, 6 goals, 642. And a great quarter for the Maggies. Uh, you're not wrong there, Shane. And the Saints, uh, t- get that Bondi, will you? In a bit of trouble here, and I'll tell you what, if they don't start get, kicking g'day a few... G'day, Shane. G'day, Rex. Heard you have to be a bit of a handyman. G'day, Shirl. I should tell our listeners, Shirl from our house has just popped in. What are you, uh, come to fix that glass for us, have you, Shirl? Yeah, I was uh, down having a bit of a surf. Heard the broadcast, bit of glass breaking. So I thought I'd come and fix it for you. Uh, you're a bit late, Shirl. It happened two hours ago, son. Ah, uh, fair crack of the stick. How's oh, that going to matter? She's pumping about six foot swell down there with sets of eight. Blowing offshore and all. This won't take a second. Uh, Shirl, we can't do a broadcast with that shit noise in the background. Piss off, will ya? Yeah, this won't take a sec, mate, hang on. I don't care, look, will you just fuck off? Yeah, yeah. I said... Fuck off! Fuck me? I just come here to give you a hand, you pull a gun on me. Ah, well, sir's pumping, I don't give a fuck. I'm going back down the gun no matter. Gee, that's the appreciation I get for driving two fucking hours. All the way to the well, take a the break. This is 3AW football. Hey, mate. What? Remember before when we were arguing? Yeah. Did you know I started balling? No. Because your bottom lip started quivering and your eyes went all watery, you know? I had something in my eye, all right? Yeah, I don't reckon you were, bud. G'day, Greg. How's it going? Hey, look! Not too bad, There's a guy from the TV! Oh, the Which guy? Glenn Ridge! The guy from the side of the century! Oh, yeah! Fantastic. Hey, Mr. Yeah, Ridge! Fantastic. G'day, guys. How are you? That's good, Bob. All the best for that. How's the wife and the little one? Oh, he sees them. Say something okay. to Glenn Ridge. One of them funny good things. All right. Along now. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Favorite, isn't it? Hey, Mr. Ridge! Very well. It's half time! Oh, Stop please. the clock! <laughs> do another, do another, do another. Oh, hey, Mr. Ridge! Your time you starts now! I'm ever laughing at you, man. Okay, okay. Hey, Mr. Ridge! Here comes deployment! It's gift shop time! <laughs> I reckon I reckon he would he would like that. Yeah, because he turned around and he looked at you. Did, did he, was he smiling? No, but he was looking at you, yeah. Mm. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Do you want something? Yeah. I'll have one pies, a bucket of chips, and one drinks. That's it? Yep. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Bye. Oh, I'm busting. Look out, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. (laughs) Oh, my God, it's packed. Come on. Hey, wait a sec. Oh. 
welcome back. In the box with us now is a big man, Carlton Great and skipper, Steve Kernahan, whose side isn't playing today, but he's come along to have a look at St Kilda, their opponent for next week. Well, Steve, with the Maggies, uh, a little bit of a lead there. The Saints all the work in front of them. Uh, how do you see this last quarter panning out? <laughs> yes, I guess that's possible. However, the Maggies are looking very strong. <laughs> yes, well, I thought he would have actually had uh, more possessions up until half time myself. <laughs> Yeah, good point. Uh, look, how do you see the Blue Boys' chances next week versus the Saints at Waverley? Oh, that's a big statement, but I wish you the best of luck. That's Steve Canahan there. Let's thank Steve for that incisive chat, and good luck for next week. We'll go to a break. This is 3W Football. To the Saints, five goals down. We're in for a rip snort, huh, folks? The umpire goes blank with the ball. Vitovic dumps the pill and it's a turf. It's picked up by Anderson. Anderson now with a ball. He'll have to be quick. He spears a handball to Burke. Nearly dispossessed. He in turn knocks it on to Keo. Keo in a bit in the clear now. He dashes away to the 50 metre line. He's looking for Plugger. Takes a bounce. Draws a loose man. Plugger now offers a lead. Keo, a low trajectory giraffe kick, bang into the chest of Tony Lockett. Great start, Saints Plugger with the ball, 30 metres out, final quarter. Great start for St Kilda, Tony Lockett with the ball, 30 metres out in the final quarter. In he comes, Big Plugger with that loping style, familiar grip on the ball, ah, he makes that ball look tiny. Not like Kent Butchers I might just mention. In he comes, kicks, ah, oh, that's lovely. Full points for the Saints. They move on now to 7 goals, 6.48. Trailing the Maggies on 11 goals, 6.72. Time now for a quick check. Let's cross to Dipper to see if he's having any luck in finding Tony Francis. Yeah, thanks, Shane. Look, we're up here in the Kakadu National Park and uh, we're not having any luck in finding Tony Francis. We've employed the services of a couple of uh, Aboriginal twaggers to help us find him, you know, but uh, as yet, no sign, no smell, no nothing. Uh, never mind, we'll keep looking, huh? Ne ne never, never say die, Shane! We'll, we'll keep looking. Yeah, good on you, Dipper. We'll check back with you later on. Great start to the Saints' first couple of minutes, final quarter. The umpire goes bang with the ball. It's a shock and bounce, no one finds it. It's picked up now by Harvey. He bobs and weaves through the pack. Shrugs a tackle, sees a lead at the centre of the ground where it's marked by Lou. Big Stewie Low marks at the edge of the square. The Saints with some urgency now. Low with the ball, the lead by O'Brien. Seen by Low and as straight as an arrow drop. Punt with 86 and a half. Reverse turns, finds O'Brien. On the half forward flanks, 55 metres out from goal. 
Take the lead from Plugger and Brian fires it up forward. A back from four cutting with the fenders go up. Plugger! Hey, they can't see this. Plugger's mark five metres out directly in front. Plays on! Goal! St. Kilda now at goal 654. Cutting with 11 goals, 672. That is all. Yep, great stuff there by St. Kilda. Wonderful goal there by Tony Lockett. Let's cross now quickly to the SCG and see how things are going up there. Are you there, Daryl? I don't believe it! Tony Francis! Oh, fantastic stuff! But a skydiver here in the SCG without a parachute! Oh, he's even got his footy boots on! He's cutting a jumper! Oh, sensational stuff here! Oh, fantastic! Thanks very much, Daryl. We'll let Dipper know. It's Battle Stations here for Collingwood. St. Kilda within three goals. The umpire goes bang with the ball. It flies skyward. Vidovic again with a thump. It's picked up by Damon Shaw, the Saint man. The gutsy Shaw spins around. Kicks as he sunk to the ground by Craig Kelly. The ball on the edge of the square. It's on the loose. It's picked up by Banner. Shrugs a tackle. Gets around three defenders. Sees the lead at the ground by Plugger. Banner kicks. Plugger! He's got to kick it first, though, Rex. Of course he'll kick it, you idiot. In he comes now, big plugger, 15 metres out. Goal! Oh, Cedar's me within 12 points. What a game. What a win starter. This is what it's all about. You can have your rugby, your cricket, your ballet dancing, but this is what it's all about. This is a real game. Where men are men and I love this game. How could you want to be anywhere else right now? I love this game, so what if I get emotional? The umpire goes bang with the ball, but if it gets a tough one, spills out there. Who does it? Foley come from the half back line, the captain's got it now. Foley moving in at the ball, he's a key, he's a devil, he goes, he's picking like the ball, and it's going to half off the kick. Blackout! Goal! St. Kilda within a goal, six points down. Couple of minutes left in play. The umpire goes bang with the ball. Monkers gets a tap down to Buckley. Buckley picks up ball. He spins a hand past him at one. He's in a clean but one at time for a bounce. He looks further afield. What the lead? McQuan's kicks off the side of the boot. It heads towards a boundary line. It's spinning, bouncing, weaving, rolling over the boundary line and out of bounds. Precious time ticking away for St Kilda. The clock's gonna beat them. The ball spinning, spinning. Back in the play. Monkers dumps the ball. Back over the boundary line. And out of bounds again. Oh, what a last quarter we've got here. I, I, I think Nicky Winmar's coming on the field for the Saints. Oh, I don't believe this. He's breaking every bun in his body earlier on, Nicky Winmar. He can barely walk. The trainers have worked overtime on Nicky as he squeaks and shuffles down to the Collingwood goal square. What courage, Nicky Winmar. The ball now back into play. Bit of it gets a tap out. It's picked up by Scotty Russell. Collingwood coming forward now. Here they come, the Maggies from the pocket. Russell said, Sayo. Winmar. Mark that ball back by Nicky Winmar. Saves a goal for the Saints, but it's all too late. With only 10 seconds left on the clock, going when I got this game by the shot and Cowleys. Winmar desperately looks for some movement from the Saints defenders, but it's going to be all over the clock ticking down. Winmar decides in the end to kick it on himself. He kicks the ball.
Ooh, that was a pretty good game, I reckon. It was pretty close. Yeah, it was a draw as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? Look, my car stopped. It must have run out of petrol. Oh no. Oh, oh, what are we going to do now? What, that's the ballin'? <laughs> G'day, guys. Oh, it's Glen Ridge. <laughs> What seems to be the problem, guys? Oh, um, my car's run out of petrol, Mr. Ridge. <laughs> OK, well, if you like, hop in, I'll give you a lift to the nearest service station. Oh, oh thanks, Mr. Ridge. So good. I thought you recognised you from before. You reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Where to, guys? Um, can we have some thinking music, please? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, I mean, let's not forget Plaga. I mean, thank you very much. He's kicked one. Yeah, How many goals? Let's try to break, and we'll be back up. Give your pod. Ding. Because you haven't cut the grass. It's footy time. You have Push your horn, but is, the, is it sound like a buzzer? So head off to the MCG and get on with your life. You're laughing. Maybe he doesn't like us then. Centimeter perfect. Across the nation. It's your old mate Rex here, thank you very much, to give his summarisation. The kiddies here, Shane Healy, along with Dakes and Dipper, Rex, Rex. will even cross around the grounds. This day should be a ripper. We've even got Daryl Eastlake uh, coming live from the SCG. Uh -oh. Dennis Committee from the Wacker. Uh, how exciting that should be. Centimeter perfect. I know sometimes I get carried away and make those funny sounds. Ah, uh, look, it's only a game. Occasionally we all go out of bounds. Come on. perfect kick to Matera, who runs to 45. Come on. Like a cork in the ocean over his shoulder for a goal. Fantastic sensational!
Hey, good eye, Rex. Good eye, Shine. Dipper, hey. You guys there? Anybody there? Rex, Shine. It's a dip. Anybody want to know about Tony? Hello? Hey, Rex. Come on, guys.